Good evening and welcome to the Action for Children Golf Day 2016 from the magnificent Glen Eagles. But it's all about preparation. Jonathan Daguilar, well you don't keep a complexion like that without looking after it. Yes, get it and it's all about prep. A man who's very comfortable with how he looks. Now, Scott Jarron on the phone. Scott perhaps not quite so comfortable. Uh, looking at, well, he's looking at different shades. I quite like the silver fox look, Scott. I don't know about that. Yes, well, perhaps not. Oh dear, I can hear the music. There's preparation. Three guys in this team not particularly warming up. Not too bored about the physical aspect. But Derek Clark is. What a machine. That's fantastic stuff. On you go, Derek. Moving down to the Kings and the first, and Jonathan. Well, he's got the sun cream on, he is ready to go. Uh, I can tell you he's got a very tidy swing. Very thorough player, though. Uh, perhaps doesn't instill the kind of excitement that you get from JB Holmes or Phil Mickelson. Let's see what his caddy thinks about four hours in the company of Jonathan. Yes, not too excited, it has to be said. I think that's a little bit harsh. Now, precision, precision, precision. That is Brian Binney. Not happy with the height of that tee, just adjusting it quite rightly. And still not quite happy. He is down to fractions of a millimetre for teeing up the ball. It has to be exactly right. He's been there for four minutes already. He's in danger of being put on the clock and he hasn't even teed off yet. Uh, oh dear, he's got to go through his practice uh, swing routine now as well. And uh, he's just got a few seconds left to see if he can get this away. Well, I do hope it's been worth the wait. Nice wide open fairway here for Brian. Lots of room on the right, on the first here in the Queens. The wind behind, helping, open the shoulders, give her a lash. No, no tiny wee three quarter swing and just stubbing it low, low chaser, low chaser. And uh, Brian, do you know what? He rushed it. The tee was a little bit too high. He should have fixed it. Uh, but maybe he didn't have enough tees. Um, which is strange because back here, yes, you've got the tees, all the tees you need. Here's John Collarin just helping himself and Helen coming in. She's just got one or two tees, but when John's not looking. Yes, Helen likes to boost the old tee collection and she's away. Well, there's a few left for the games behind. Now back down the, well, I say down the fairway. We're not quite at the fairway yet with uh, Brian Binney, but uh, Brian... Well, he was a very ambitious golfer. He's out on the fairway looking to see if the green is clear. Um, after that drive, I'm not too sure whether he should be bothered or not, but he's had a good look and he's worked it out. This is to the green, just under 300 yards. His drive, just over 130. More importantly, though, distance to the bunker, 34 yards. Didn't take that into account. He was hoping to bump and run it, that 298-yard shot to the green. And uh, the bunker just getting in the way, oh dear Brian. Now, one of the stars of last year, Jim Rennie. We all had a laugh at Jim in the first tee. In fact, his playing partners are still laughing about it this year. And Jim's taking exception to that and he's trying to wipe them out at every opportunity. And the boy's just a little bit too quick there, jumping out the way. Well, it can be dangerous out there on the golf course, especially with players around as powerful as Jane Kemet. That's power. Out of bunker. Impressive power. And uh, well, usually you would say that Jane has to be one of the most powerful female golfers in the field today. But uh, also in that bunker, we have uh, Rose Carr. Now, Rose, you would say it's probably on a par power level uh, with Jane, but the men in the game utterly ignoring her. And uh, that is, uh, well, the blood is boiling. She's building up a head of steam. She's building up the strength. And boys, I really wouldn't be standing there if I was you. You don't want an angry rose car hitting a ball anywhere near you. <laughs> well, it's okay. They knew what they were doing. They were safe. They were safe. That ball was always going to go flying over their head. But it's not all about power golf, of course. It's about finesse. It's about touch. It's about accuracy. And it's about time that we had Sandy Martin actually holding a putt in an Action for Children Golf Day video. Well done, Mr. Martin. Yes, we'll look forward to another one in about eight years' time. Sadly, of course, uh, well, we've, we've made him the butt of the jokes over the years, uh, but 
This year, well, we've been concentrating on Derek Clark, and I take it all back. This is nearest the pin competition. We've been making fun of him all day, but he's heading towards the green. And a great shot. Could it be nearest the pin? Well, it could be. If it was the right green. Yes, managing to hit the 15th green from the second tee. Great stuff from Derek Clark.